Hey there, I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and I'm excited to announce the color for the 2015 Special Edition Lamy All-Star is Copper Orange. And the reason I'm so excited about this particular color is it's a very vibrant color to a normally pretty muted line within the Lamy All-Star. So what does a Special Edition mean? Okay, it's not a limited edition, it's not a numbered kind of thing, but it does mean that it's going to be more or less kind of an annual run that Lamy is doing. So they do this, not necessarily every year, but that's how it's been the last couple of years. Um, they do a special color. They've done it in the All-Star, they've done it in the Safari, in the studio. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna make a limited run, and when that color sells out, it's gonna be gone. Now, they might bring it back in the future if it's really popular. They've done that before with the purple. They did that with the black. But for all intents and purposes, this might be the only time that you'll ever see this color. And because we don't know exactly how many they're making or how quickly they're going to sell, they'll probably be around for about nine months, maybe a year. So they're going to be out in the U.S. anyway at the beginning of March of 2015. And exactly how long they're going to go, I'm not 100% sure. But that's how the special edition thing works for Lamy. All right, so checking out the full line. Well, it's not the full lineup. I think I might be missing one of them, but I've got most of the lineup of the Lamy All-Stars here, and I'm definitely a dealer hooked on my own product here. So um, the copper orange, you can see, just looking at the general palette with the whole line, really stands out. It's got much more life and punch to it than many of the previous uh, Lamy All-Stars have had. So going in order here, I've got the new one, which is the copper orange, black, which is uh, previous special edition, which is now coming back to the regular line. I have pearl, I have blue green, I have ruby, coffee, silver green, silver blue, and then regularly available I have the purple, ocean blue, um, aluminum, and graphite. So nice selection here. They tend to be pretty muted colors. But this copper orange really gives it a punch. The All-Star is a fairly light pen at 22 grams, and if you think that it looks kind of similar to the Lamy Safari, you would be right. It's the same design, except this pen is made out of aluminum. That's the big difference. Another differentiating factor is that the grip on this pen is a translucent, so when you ink it up, you can kind of see what's going on in there, which is pretty neat. It has this triangular grip, which some people love, some people hate. Me personally, it's not necessarily my preference, but it's not a deal breaker for me either. It comes available in an extra fine, fine, and medium nib, but they are swappable, so you can swap them out with a stainless steel Lummi broad nib, as well as a 1.1, 1.5, and 1.9 millimeter stub italic. One cool thing about the All-Star is it's a snap cap push to post, so it's a super convenient pen for just a daily carry. If you're a student or just using it around the workplace, whatever, you can carry it around. Um, it does have this aluminum finish, which if you're carrying around with your keys and a bunch of other stuff, it can scratch. So just kind of be aware of that. That's where the Safari is really awesome because those things are just you know, incredibly durable. But this one, the finish will stay pretty well as long as you take care of it. The one kind of downside about this pen is it is a cartridge converter pen, which is not necessarily the bad part, but it's a proprietary Lamy cartridge converter. So it's not included with the pen either. They include one cartridge, but if you want to use a converter for bottled ink, you're going to have to buy that separately. It's only $5, it's not the end of the world, but it is something you'll have to factor in. So the pen without the converter is $37.60, tack on $5 there for the converter. Now one really cool thing that Lamy is doing this year that they have not really done in the past, I don't think, is they're coming out with an ink that's going to match this pen, copper orange. They're going to come out with a bottle and cartridge form. Now, this is a pre-production sample I have in my hands, so I only have this in my hands for a time, and I don't have the ink with me. So as of the shooting of this video, I don't have both the ink and the pen at the same time, so I can't show it to you. So that kind of stinks, but be ready for that. It's gonna come out, it's gonna be pretty cool, I think. Uh, but I do have some other inks that I think will match it fairly well that I've kind of selected for you. So I've got Noodler's Habanero, which I think will match pretty well. Private Reserve Shoreline Gold, uh, despite the name, actually is a pretty close match. Noodler's Apache Sunset is a little on the yellow side, but it's a very cool color. I just recommend it, just even not with this pen, just if you've never used that ink, it's awesome. A um, little bit on the darker side, but Diamine Ancient Copper, I think is good. It's gonna be a little browner than this pen, but it's also a very cool ink. And then I am a uh, Hokie, Virginia Tech grad, so I would be remiss if I didn't mention a couple of maroon pens to match this sweet orange. So I got Diamine Red Dragon and Diamine Crimson as well. I think it would make a fantastic color choice. 
So if you are interested in getting the Copper Orange All-Star, you don't have to get it right at launch, but I would probably say you don't want to wait too long because I think this one is going to be fairly popular. If you want to learn more about the Lamy All-Star, or any pen for that matter, you can check it out on goulaypens.com. If you like this video and want more like it, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching, and right on.